After a four-year wait, we finally welcome the Raspberry Pi 5. It's a highly anticipated and significant update that brings a lot of thrilling enhancements. I can't wait to introduce it to you all now. So, let's dive right in and get started. The Raspberry Pi 5 retains a similar appearance to its predecessors, but if you're observant, you'll notice some significant layout changes. Firstly, the most noticeable change is that the Ethernet and USB ports have returned to the same position as the Pi 3. Additionally, the display interface has been moved to the bottom left corner, and both the display and camera interfaces have been upgraded to two 4-channel MEP interfaces. However, in the Raspberry Pi 5, the audio output interface that was originally located here has been removed. But the exciting news is that the Pi 5 has added a PCIe port, which means it can connect more high bandwidth peripherals and handle more complex tasks that require higher data transfer rates. Moreover, the Pi 5 also features a built-in RTC, real-time clock. All we need to do is connect a battery to the RTC gear, and we can have accurate time even without an internet connection. On the right side, we have the new UART interface, which will greatly enhance our debugging efficiency. On top of that, they've added dedicated port for attaching a heatsink, which is truly considerate and thoughtful. And we can visually determine the memory capacity of the board from the silk screen. Although the official Raspberry Pi announcement only mentioned 8GB and 4GB, judging from this silk screen, there might also be 2GB and 1GB versions available. Let's continue to stay excited and look forward to it. In this upgrade, no changes have been made to the GPIO ports, which means that previous peripheral devices can still be used without any issues. What is even more touching is that the Raspberry Pi has added a power switch button, allowing us to turn it on and off in a reliable manner. Take a look here, there's a small Raspberry Pi logo. This is a chip manufactured by Raspberry Pi itself. This new chip handles all the I.O. functions of the Pi 5 and appears to have made significant improvements in peripheral device performance and functionality. Lastly, let's take a look at the processor used in the Raspberry Pi 5, which consists of a Cortex-A76 CPU with a clock frequency of 2.4 GHz and a brand new Video Core 7 GPU with a clock frequency of 1 GHz. Raspberry Pi states that this will bring significant performance improvements. To better demonstrate the power of the Raspberry Pi 5, let's boot it up and take a look at the performance improvements compared to the Raspberry Pi 4. First, let's compare the boot times of both devices. Now, I will power them on simultaneously. To present the most authentic test, I will use a camera to capture the Raspberry Pi screen throughout the entire process. Wow, 18 seconds? That might be faster than the computer I'm currently using. But the Raspberry Pi 4 is still chugging along, working hard to boot up. Finally, we measured the boot time of Pi 4 to be 62 seconds, and in this aspect, Pi 5 emerges as the clear winner. Next, let's take a look at the differences between them in terms of user experience during actual usage. I believe those who have used the Raspberry Pi 4 are familiar with its desktop experience, which can be described as average at best. For example, when switching between tasks, it may not provide a satisfactory experience. But when you use the Raspberry Pi 5 and switch between various tasks, I believe you will be amazed. It performs incredibly smoothly without any lag or stuttering. Similarly, we can compare their overall performance by streaming 1080p videos online. Then, we can observe that the Raspberry Pi 5 performs exceptionally smoothly during video playback, with excellent visual quality. I believe it can serve as a great handheld entertainment device for watching shows and movies. We can also take this opportunity to measure their heat generation during usage. Upon comparison, we can observe that their heat generation is quite similar. In terms of power consumption, it can be observed that the Pi 4 and Pi 5 have similar power consumption when no programs are running. However, during video playback, there is only a slight difference of 0.2 Watt in their power consumption. Certainly, such impressive performance is undoubtedly due to powerful hardware support. So let's actually test and see how impressive the hardware of the Raspberry Pi 5 is. To test the CPU performance of the Raspberry Pi 5, I used the Sysbench tool. Sysbench can measure CPU performance by executing compute-intensive tasks such as calculating prime numbers, compression-slash-decompression, and more. Now, we are using 4 threads to calculate prime numbers with a maximum range of 20,000. By examining the duration of this process, we can assess the CPU performance. Based on this result, the Pi 4 took 62 seconds to complete the calculation. Now let's see how long it takes for the Pi 5. 
10 seconds. What an astonishing improvement. In that case, for a more accurate testing, we also attempted to use the Hashcat tool to evaluate the single-threaded computational capability of the Pi 5. Let's take a look at the cracking speeds of these commonly used encryption methods. Overall, Pi 5 is 2.5 to 3.4 times faster than Pi 4, and this is just the power of single-threaded performance. Furthermore, we used the PARM tool to test the storage read and write speeds of the Pi 4. According to the results, the Pi 4 achieved a storage read slash write speed of 43 megabytes per second, while the Pi 5 achieved a speed of 85 megabytes per second, nearly double that of the Pi 4. After conducting the above-mentioned tests, we have gained a clear understanding of the outstanding performance of Raspberry Pi 5. Surprisingly, its price remains very affordable, making it undoubtedly the most cost-effective choice compared to similar products. Furthermore, as you may know, as a leader in Raspberry Pi computers, the Crow Pi series is actively testing its compatibility with Raspberry Pi 5 and other aspects. Please stay tuned for the latest updates from us. Thanks for watching.